Hey everyone, you are back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jerry and I'm posting random videos about life abroad, food, places, and just about anything. <laughs> This is my official first video in 2022 and I hope you guys have started the year right. I'm sure a lot of us uh, find it a little bit more challenging but let's not lose hope and take it one day at a time, one step at a time. I think nowadays it is very important that we make the most out of our day instead of really um, pressuring ourselves with a lot of negative stuff. And I really think that is going to be my motto for this year. So, of course, I wish myself luck. <laughs> so, for today's episode, I will share with you another bag review. It's been a while since I last did a bag review. And I notice a lot of you guys are watching almost all of my bag reviews. And I'm also receiving a lot of nice comments and i am just glad that it's able to help you guys with some useful information and ideas what could be a good bag to buy um, of course in terms of style purpose quality and price for sure a lot of my bags are not very expensive they're not high-end luxury brands but um I believe this designer's bag are the most common ones that we can afford and also with high quality so I really don't mind buying them investing on them and really using them for a long time so without further ado let me share with you my feedback to one of my longtime favorites so this is the coach scout hobo bag in pebble bladder i'm not sure if this is still in the market though i bought this in 2016 when i first visited new york so it has quite a sentimental value to me that was my first christmas in the u.s and also my first ever um holiday trip with my husband that time we were still boyfriend and girlfriend you know i found this in macy's so imagine guys wandering around new york on holiday and going from one shop to another so it is such a uh, really nice amazing experience for me so every time i'd see this bag i remember good memories so i got this bag for only $700 because it was on sale and it comes in a lot of different colors but I decided to go for ox blood color but actually it's like a plum and then I bought another one exactly the same style but in red and uh, I gave it to my friend let me break it down to you what I like most about this bag so first this is the perfect size this so I have things in here because I'm using it right now at work um, but I've used this to a lot of my travels in Europe in the US and it's very very practical to use first of all look at the size of this bag it is not very big but also it's not small so this is the exact size that I need to put you know a decent amount of items right now I have here my passport book some of my essentials and cell phone a small makeup pouch and I can also put in here my iPad Air and also it's not very big so I don't stuff it with a lot of heavy things and I don't have to carry a really big bag that, that's so heavy. Secondly, I like the form of this bag. It has a lightly structured silhouette that looks simple yet sophisticated. It has a top zip closure right here. Also, it has some detachable straps, a longer strap. I can remove this if I want to. But also, I can I can attach this strap if I would like to use it as a sling bag or a 
crossbody bag. And then also it has um, a shorter strap if I would like to use it as a shoulder bag. And I would normally use it as a shoulder bag if my bag is a little bit heavy. And sometimes also depending on what I wear, if I'm wearing a more office attire or more formal look, I would just rather wear it on my shoulder. But if I'm wearing just like a casual, very casual ragged outfit, I would normally wear it as a, as a sling bag. Let's talk about the packets. Um, it has two exterior packets right here, which are hidden. And I really like this packet. This is one of the best feature of this bag because with these packets, nobody can really open it easily because it's hidden. And also, it's very useful for me when it comes to like putting things that I really need to access, like my. Um, metro card or some cash I just leave it right here and I don't have to dig for it inside my bag so the, the packets are kind of deep so it will not fall whatever you put in here inside it it has an interior zip packet let me just remove all my things right now so I can show it to you Inside it, it has an interior zip packet right here. So you can put like important stuff that, like passport. And then on the other side are two slip packets where you can just slide your phone and other stuff that you put there. It's very accessible. So I also like the gold hardware of the bag. That's really nice too because it adds to the structured, sophisticated look of the bag. So here we go. This is the Coach Scout Hobo in pebbled leather in plum color. It's um, a sling bag and a shoulder bag at the same time. You know me guys, I like wearing or owning bags that are multi-purpose, that are very functional, that can go with a lot of different outfits. Um, because I'm a person who is very laid back, very simple, and um, I always like to invest with something that I can use for a long time. And I can use multi-times as well. Um, so I am really very particular with the colors of my bag, with the form of my bag, and especially the, the purpose. I'm also not sure if this exact same style is still available in Coach store or its online store because um, I was trying to look for it recently and I couldn't find it. I could find some other hobo bag style but not the exact, exact look. And also please let us know what is your favorite bag or favorite style of bag maybe we can um, get some ideas for our next purchase so that's it for now please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you like this type of videos and thanks for watching see you again in my next vlog bye